Laura Yates, Head of Graduate Talent. How are you doing this morning? Hi, I'm good. How are you? Pretty well, pretty good. well. Are you ready to answer a few questions with us today? Absolutely. Well, let's start off with something super easy. What is your life's motto? Life's motto, do things that bring you joy. Are you an early bird or a night owl? Early bird, 100%. And do you make to-do lists? Always, who doesn't make to-do lists? Absolutely, I've got loads of to-do lists in my head, written down in my pad. Um, I couldn't operate without a to-do list. Well, what's next on the list? Uh, next on the list, this week's really busy, so I've got a lot of presentations to do. In fact, that's where we're going now to start setting up. I'm doing presentations to some students. Um, I've got client presentations this week. I'm doing an event for our London partners. I'm also going to speak at Nebworth, which is very exciting. And also, uh, this week is the start of our Spark Scheme. So it's our first year vacation scheme. The students are with us for a week. Uh, they do classroom, workshop-based stuff for a week. And then the last two days, they do uh, work shadowing in the practice areas. So a really intense week. Oh, this is a pretty cool space. Isn't it? Is this where you guys uh, host the, uh, the office movie night? Uh, if only. What is your favourite movie? Oh, God, I hate that question. If I was pushed, I'd say old school classic, Goonies, uh, maybe Dirty Dancing, a bit of Carlito's Way. A bit of Patrick Swayze, then, that's what it's about. A hundred percent. Right, let's get back to business. What's this presentation about? So, this presentation today is all about making impactful applications. Arguably, this is the most important element of the selection process. It's the first stage, and it's the bit that will get you through to the assessment days. So, acing applications, making in impactful applications is really, really important. Do you have a presentation voice? And if so, please give us a demonstration. Do I have a presentation voice? Do you know what? I don't now. Um, this is me. This is my South London accent as it, at its best. Um, I used to. So um, early on in my career, I used to think that I did need a presentation voice, which might be a bit more like, welcome to Clifford Chance. I'm, I'm Laura, head of graduate talent at Clifford Chance. But I've gone, I've gone away from that. So it's really about just being my authentic self um, and being proud of who I am. Nothing wrong with a South London accent. Absolutely not. What makes you nervous? Doing things like this makes me nervous. Um, I think anything that's new, that pushes you outside of your comfort zone um, and challenge you, makes you feel nervous, but that's good. Nerves are good. It helps push you to perform to your best. How do you cope with those nerves? Um, do you know what? I think a lot of it's about having an inner voice that says you've got this, you can do this. Um, and also I watched a TED talk many years ago that said take up space. Um, and I always say to students if they're nervous at assessment day to go into the toilet, compose themselves, get them in a position where they can take up space, make yourself really large, give yourself that energy and then go out and absolutely perform to your best. Note to self, remember the starfish. Absolutely. <laughs> What are some of the key recruitment challenges you're facing at Clifford Chance? So key recruitment challenges um, at Clifford Chance, I would say really competitive market. So from a candidate's perspective, you need to stand out. Um, and then from our perspective, we need to find that talent in this huge pool of applicants. Second challenge is making sure we're democratising access to the profession. So breaking down barriers wherever they might exist. What part of your job do you love the most? Um, I would say it's all about meeting people. I love meeting people, making connections and seeing where those connections take me. Oh, talking of connections, Toby. Toby's in my team. Hello, Laura, how are you? I'm good. Good, right, quick question. Yes. Has working virtually changed relationships in the office for better or for worse? Great question, um, both. I think it's amazing to have the opportunity to work from home, to be more agile um, and to use that to carve out space for yourself. But also people are really important. So it's really important to build those connections in person and learn by osmosis. Brilliant, now let's get to the heart of the matter, the trainees themselves. What are the main attributes you're looking for in a prospective trainee? Uh, you've got to be intellectually agile. Um, you've got to be creative in your solution um, uh, approach. You've got to think about putting clients at the heart of everything you do. So building relationships with people is really, really important. Um, and you need to be resilient. This job can be tough. And actually, talking of this job being tough, um, I need to get on with this presentation. So let me take you on a little shortcut. This is a secret route out of the auditorium uh, and we can get going. What is the biggest mistake a trainee can do when they're first starting at Clifford Chance? Not ask questions and not be curious. The best thing they can do? I think the best thing you can do from day one is speak to everybody. Make connections, make yourself known. Even if you feel uncomfortable doing that, it's really important to build your network. How do you make sure that trainees are supported through particularly tough working periods? It's all about the people and the connections and the networks you have. That will get you through it. Um, and it's also really important to ensure that you get space for yourself and time for yourself. And what are the biggest misconceptions that students may have about the training contract? I think students need to remember this is tough. 
it's a hard job and you need to have resilience, but it's also one that you should be able to do. Um, and you need to have that inner confidence in yourself. Uh, don't think that we're looking for a particular type of person. We're not. And if you've got the skills that you need, if you've got that resilience, if you've got that inner drive, this should be for you. Okay, so save the best till last. What advice would you give to someone applying to Clifford Chance? Uh, do it. Believe in yourself. You've got your own back. Put in effort. Do the research, not only on the firm, but yourself. Make sure you stand out um, and just be your authentic self. Finally, what marks would you give us for this interview? <laughs> I'd probably give myself a one, but I'll give you guys a 10. And on that note, I absolutely need to go to this presentation. So see you later. Nice seeing you.